Okay, here's a little uh, quick fix uh, for some of you that are using the Roland Cloud. Um, and if you, uh, so if you don't have the original uh, hardware for some of these emulators, you may or may not know the difference. So, uh, so right now I'm using uh, a Yamaha EX5 as my controller. Okay, and here's the sound on um, uh, Crystal EPs. It made it was one of the more famous sounds from the JD800. Made it. But listen to this. Sure, the aftertouch. Okay, the aftertouch is is uh, making one of the sample layers in the um, the JD800 software. Um, it's making the envelope of the actual amplitude sound in the way it was originally intended. So, as another example, um, and I'm going to play this meaty bass. I'll play one more sound. I'm going to play this distortion. It's called the wailing guitar. Okay, okay, so here's sort of the fix. So uh, in uh, Logic, you don't have the ability to filter those out. I don't believe so. Uh, so I'm using uh, software to do that. So I'm using my Myo 10. And uh, in the Myo 10, you can, at the channel level, take like pitch bend events out, channel pressure events, uh, poly key pressure events out, whatnot, um, which is a great tool to have. It's just a MIDI filter. So all I'm gonna do is uh, on this port seven, port seven and channels one through 16. So you get all these different abilities per port to, to take out uh, these different filterings per channel. So maybe channel two, I don't want the uh, pressure events to be uh, taken out because something else is on channel two. I just deselect it. So, so um, just leave it. Leave me uh, any comment if you want me to go further into the front end software for the um, the eigenactivity software. Okay, because very complex, but very useful as. You're going to see. So now here's the same sound without the poly pressure. See, this is now starting to sound like the JD800 that we uh, always know and love. Here's here's your um, crystal EPs. sound that I used. Okay, and I found, I first discovered this on a sound called Millennium. Uh, this is the default sound, and when I played it, I said, this doesn't sound nothing like the JD-100. Got a very harsh sound to it. played it originally, I'll take the filter back off. This is how it, um, with the aftertouch and all that. And then, you know, of course, with it off and all that. So, So that pretty much um, took care of all that. Um, even uh, some of the other plugins in the Rolling Cloud kind of suffered from that, and it was really all to do with the channel pressure events uh, of your controller. It just depends on what your controller, whether it has it or not, and you and would you prefer to have that. 
So that's a quick fix for that. Um, leave any uh, questions or comments. And until next time, peace out.